These are rocks with their funny little grey faces, you get them. Obviously these are the things that nest in rookeries. We get masses of nests at the tops of very tall trees. Unlike uh, the carrion crow, which is very similar, it doesn't have a grey face, just has a, a black beak. But they're quite amusing to watch these. They also have like a little feathered sort of extend down the legs a little bit. They obviously have a, a sort of definite pecking order, but they're very, very jumpy. Chaffinch, just picking up grain which I've put out in the garden. A oh, bunny bird there. It's winter plumage, absolutely fantastic. There's a little song, sounds a bit like a, a little bit of bread and no cheese. A little bit of bread and no cheese when it's on the uh, sitting on top of uh, hedgerows in the springtime. And there's another one. Yeah, it's not just a stunning little bird. It's a right breezy day out there as well, it's absolutely blowing a howling gale across here. They're very wary, of, particularly of birds flying overhead, like the slightest bird shadow overhead and they're off, in case it's a spotter hawk, which we do occasionally get, but the biggest danger in suburban gardens of course is cats. It's killed millions and millions and millions of birds every year, particularly young fledglings. And uh, as I'm filming this in from my front room, you'll probably hear the clock ticking. <laughs> I'll stop before it starts chiming. This is a little in chaffing, she's a little plainish brown bird, not as bright as the cock chaffinch. And they all have this big finch beak, you'll notice, for cracking open fruits to get the seeds out of the, the centres of seeds. And there's uh, there are two cock chaffinches there. Again, a lovely bird. Look at that, isn't that? Bonnie bird. It brightens up uh, during the breeding season. Oh, see, they're all off. Suddenly, bang, they've gone. <laughs>
なるほど。Well, there you can see large numbers of little birds. No goldfinches today. Uh, well, because you just two handfuls of canary seed <laughs> brings them all in. Once they become confident, they're. Uh, having said that, <laughs> something obviously flew across, and they were off. The big one is is uh, the big one is sparrowhawks. So they like to be able to see all around them and, and and clear aspect above them, so they can see these anything any predator approaching, whether it be next door's cat or some sparrowhawk. I've never actually seen a sparrowhawk here, but I'm sure these feeding places will be on its rounds. The 
This is a, a male house sparrow. You can see, unlike the tree sparrow, it doesn't have those spots on its cheek. And the male house sparrow has that black bib, which the female house sparrow doesn't have. Whereas the male and female tree sparrows look very, very similar. They both have that black bib and you can see there that tree sparrow there has got those black cheek patches. And there's the house sparrow which is alongside it, it doesn't have it. The tree sparrow is also a little bit smaller.